Now let's take a look at the vestibule kitchen area. There are locks on the back. That's a key lock that was uh, just opened. Here on the left side, we have stainless steel sink with a sprayer and a water spout. Uh, six ga nine gallon tank underneath. We have a cutting board for extra workspace. Two burner propane stove. Propane tank is on the front of the vestibule. Over on the right side, we have a cabinet area for the silverware. And down below, we have another pull-out cutting board on the top, in addition to the pull-out drawers. Three, three drawers. In the center is a space. Where, this is where we keep the Yeti uh, cooler. It's 40, Yeti 45 cooler, fits perfectly in there. On the left side, we have a storage area. I have uh, like a, a hose for water. I have an extension cord. I have the wheel chocks for the trailer to raise it if you're not on an even surface locks. And the plumbing is back here. We'll talk about that more in another video. Over on this side, on each side, we have uh, the bat wings. The bat wings come down, and these are great for when there's wind or rain. So this enables you to cook and eat while you're, you know, while it's raining or while it's a little windy. Uh, you can stand under here. Uh, it's a little tight, but it can be done. So if it's bad weather, you're uh, not just out of luck. Here we have the electrical. We got the extra electrical package when we ordered this. And we have a spotlight here, an overhead light for general lighting. It does a good job of lighting the entire back area. Uh, we have screens where you can look into the sleeping area of the vestibule. And we have electrical plugs. We have ample electrical plugs. So USB ports, 220 port over here, 220 plug here. And uh, this is the controller, the Victron controller for your power and the uh, electrical and the solar panels on the top. And that concludes the vestibule kit.